Hello beautiful bookworms, my name is Katarina and welcome to my channel. So as you can see, I am still a little bit with my throat sore. I've got some allergies, so um, I'm very sorry for my voice quality. But uh, I just had to post another video and I decided to do a video really quick where I don't have to talk too much and I would just show you some of the stuff that, as the title says, are related with books but are not books. So some of the stuff that I collected over time. Uh, just a disclaimer, I am a bookmark collector, but I am not going to show you my bookmarks because there are too many and I would have to talk about it and I am not really ready yet to do big discourses. So if you want to know a little bit more about my bookmark collection, tell me so in the comments down below and I'll make a whole video dedicated to that bookmark collection. And hopefully by the time that I do it, I can have new bookmarks and beautiful bookmarks and stuff like that. So without further ado, these are some of the things that I have that have to do with books but are not books. So the first thing that I'm going to show to you, you might have seen it on my Instagram that I always leave linked down below because I take pictures with it. It's like a book cover, you know, so that my books get protected. And it's really beautiful. It's like, it has like an ancient vibe, you know, and it, it's really well done. It's handmade. I have no idea who made it, but um, I know that it's handmade because I bought it in a in a little fair and the, the lady told me that she had done them. I just don't know her name, so I can't say who it was. She was Portuguese and this is really beautiful. Like you can close it with this and it protects the book, but it can't be used to all the books. And sometimes I read very big books and they are not fitted in here, you know, because this is really small. But for my small paperbacks and for the normal format of my books, it is pretty okay, so I use it for most of the books, but now it's getting a little bit, you know, I have to sew this, this little bit, because I've been using it a lot, so the books don't get ruined in the beach or stuff like that, and I will have to sew this back together. Yeah, so I'm just gonna wait until the end of summer and then I will put it really nicely together, but it is really beautiful, as you can see, like, I really love it. Now, I have some notebooks. I also collect notebooks so I can write my thoughts, some poems, some rhymes, some, well, some novel ideas and etc, etc. Um, actually, I forgot one of my notebooks, so I will be coming back really quick. I'm just gonna go and get it. So I am back again and I am sorry for cutting the video, but I will just show you the first notebook that I went to get. This is a notebook made by a friend of mine. She was the one that did this all and she's amazing. She has a beautiful art. And so she did me an Alice in Wonderland little notebook that says, drink me. I don't know if you can see it. Like I'll have to, you know. And on the other side it says, it's not used going back to yesterday because I was a different person then. And it's from Alice in Wonderland and her art is just so beautiful. And I have been writing in here some of my novel plots for a book that I'm thinking about writing. So it's definitely come in handy. And thank you so much for this gift. This was really amazing. I have it for a long time now. Um, another notebook that I have is just a little notebook that was given to me by my friends. And it says, I'm not insecure just because I'm a miniature. And uh, this is because I'm very small. I am like uh, 150 centimeters. Um, sort of. I am 153, but everyone just assumed that I'm 150. So, yeah, I don't know. And, um, yeah, I just, I love this little book. I don't have anything on it, but it's just so cute. It's just little and, yeah, it's funny to me because I'm small also. Then I have another cute notebook. It's a little fairy. And it's just so cute. You can see her eyes in here, I believe. But she's just so cute. Like, look. And I don't have anything in here, too. But this is really good because you can just take out the, um, the notes that you wrote if you're not happy with them. Like, you can just... I'm not going to do it because I haven't written anything. I don't want to destroy the notebook. But you just have to push and you can take the notes. And this one I haven't even took off the case. But it's a little chocolate notebook without 
a piece and it's really funny because I really love chocolate so um, it was also given to me by my friends and uh, I really liked it it's it's really it actually makes me hungry but it's really cute um, other notebooks that I have so I have this little notebook this came in the August owl crate of last year like 2016 I believe I received it it was it was sort of a giveaway competition sort of thing and I received it and I was really happy this is like um, a decomposition book it is post consumer waste recycled pages Pink, print, printed with soy ink and made in the USA and it's really pretty like I believe that I haven't written anything oh but inside inside is really beautiful like you can see it has our solar system and the great sphinx and on the other side it has what is beyond the stars and i just love this art it's just so pretty but on the inside it has nothing i haven't like i have this thing where i collect notebooks and i do believe that i'm going to write on them and i'm like i need them to write the plots for my stories but then i just start writing the plots and i'm just like I hate this and I don't deserve to write and etc etc because I'm very perfectionist so I just don't write in the notebooks and I just look at them and try to transport my ideas from my mind to the paper without using ink because I think that I will be destroying these notebooks if I use them so I just collect them another notebook that I have and I haven't even took the the paper case yet it's from the little prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry and you can see it. It's just it's so pretty, and on the back, it's just it's so pretty. I just I love I love this. It's just so beautiful. And my mom bought me this in a book fair, and it's just so amazing. And I really want to write in this, but it's just so pretty, and I don't want to throw it away ever. So I'm not writing in this for now. And um, yeah, I have it. It's just so pretty. Um, another notebook that I have, my mom gave me this also. It is a magic spells pure book, secret magic spells pure book. And it's like a witch magic spell book. It's just so beautiful. I do believe this is from LA Op, which takes a little bit of a mystery out of it, but it's just so freaking gorgeous. And if you can see like, you can see the spine, it's just so gorgeous. It says magic diary, witch and wizard tradition notebook and it says write write your wish write down your wish this magic book is gonna help you i'm sorry but the cursive is really can you see it is really hard to read but it's really beautiful and it says precious memories tradition notebook since 1981 and it's just so so beautiful and this one i actually have written well this was my mom's writing but in this one, I actually wrote um, some uh, some words that meant something to me, some quotes. Um, like, everyone who terrifies you is 65% water, and everyone you love is made of stardust, and I know sometimes you cannot breathe deeply, and the night sky is no home, and you have cried yourself to sleep enough time that you are down to your last 2%, but nothing is infinite, not even loss. You are made of the sea and the stars, and one day you are going to find yourself again. And I do believe this is by Finn Butler, like I have it written here, but I'm not sure if it's the original author, I believe so. But I was going to show you, like, the book is so beautiful, it has different images in each page, and I do believe that it's really amazing, I just love it, and it's one of my favorites of my collection, actually, so, yeah. And I always dream about being a witch, so... Maybe I should give it a try with this notebook. Oh, it's getting really hard to talk, so I'm just gonna speed this thing up. So, um, I have another notebook, and this one my boyfriend gave to me, and it is a River Song notebook. And for those of you that don't know who River Song is, go watch Doctor Who, what are you doing with your life? But River Song is basically a companion of Doctor Who, and um, she's my favorite character, actually. And um, this is her diary. She writes in here all of the times that she met the doctor and what it ha what happened in those times. And I actually haven't written anything in this because um, I wanted to write um, on it, but then I thought that the the mystery of it will go away, and so I haven't written in it. But I'm saving it to start writing my novel in it because um, I do believe that I am better at writing with pen and paper than writing in the computer. So the computer only serves for me to put stuff down when they are 
ready and edit stuff and not to create the, the first draft. The first draft is always on paper. But this is such a beautiful, like, it's really beautiful. It's, I love Doctor Who, so for me it was an excellent gift. And if you guys don't know about this, you go watch Doctor Who. You go, you do it, you go right now. We can watch it everywhere, just, just go watch it. And um, another one my boyfriend gave to me, and it was very recent. Um, it was this Harry Potter moleskin, and I have no words for this. This is like the, the map that the Weasley brothers had, the Marauders map, you know? And it's just, it's so beautiful! And I do believe it has a stamp. Um, you know, in case of loss, please return to. It's just so pretty. It has these stamps. Oh, you can't see the stamps. It has the stamps in here. I'm just, I just, I just love it. I just, I haven't written anything yet, as usual, but I just love it. And um, it has a little pocket in here. It's just, it's perfect. This is perfect. It's the perfect edition of a moleskin. I am crazy about moleskins, and uh, now that I have this edition, I am also crazy about Harry Potter. I always was. So now that I have this edition, I am... I'm crazy for this. This is just this is the most beautiful thing. Look. And the touch. It's so... I adored it. It's just, it's just amazing. Then I have um, my planner, which is like a, a daily planner and says life is better with a cat. And it was for the years of two, 2016 and 2017. And um, it will end, I believe, in December of this year, which is great because it started in September of last year. So I have a, he a year and some months to go through this. And it's amazing because I need this. It saves my life. I never know what I have to do because my memory is so, so bad. So this saves my life infinitely. And you can see I always have this marked down in which day we are and what is the day I have a chore to do so I can prepare for that because I suffer from anxiety so if I didn't have this I would go completely other shit crazy so this is a good thing to have and now my last thing and this is going to be very complicated oh no it's not my last thing actually so skip that and um another thing that I have it's a feather pen from London can you see it? My mom gave it to me. And I also have a calligraphy ink. And it's purple because purple is my favorite color. Just look at it. It's just so beautiful. And I really want to use it, but then I think I'm going to screw all of this up. Like I'm going to start writing and the ink will just spread everywhere. So I, I haven't used it yet. But the ink is still fairly good. So I believe that I can still use it. And it's just amazing. Look at this stationery. I wanted so much to sound excited, but I can't, I'm sorry. And now, yes, for the last thing. So, as I was saying, this is going to be very complicated because this is very heavy. And as you might have seen in my thumbnail picture, I am almost dying carrying it. But I will try, just give me a second. Oh my god. So, yeah, I have a typewriter. This is my little typewriter. I love her. Actually, this was a gift from my boyfriend uh, in my anniversary in 2015. And um, when I received this, I cried. <laughs> because as I said, I want to be a writer. It's a dream that I have, but sadly I'm very perfectionist. So I just throw everything away and I never finish anything. So um, it gave me this for me to continue writing as an incentive. And I just love typewriters and it is so beautiful. But it's also very heavy and it's killing my back. So you've seen it and I'm going to just put it down. But um, yeah. So uh, I hope you guys like this video. And comment down below if you have some of your stuff that uh, you consider a relation that is related. Jesus, I cannot speak. That is related with books, but it's not books. And if you want me to show my bookmark collection, as I said, Tell me down below and I will when I'm better with my voice. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you like, leave a like or subscribe. And happy readings to you all. Bye!